tips and tricks on all the maps in Fall Guys Season 2. Night Fever. The spawn you is incredibly easy to take. Once you see the head in the downward facing position, that's when you jump towards it while holding forwards. You could even jump when you see the head of the Yidus in the 12 o'clock position as well. For the Blizzard fan variant, make sure you dive so you land faster and don't ragdoll upon landing. However, if you get the seesaw variant, you can either jump on top of the platform or you can climb the ledge and pull yourself up. And as for the secondary Yidus, you wait for the Yidus to cross the 12 o'clock position, then jump towards it. Position yourself a little bit away from the Yidus. To cross the thick bonkers section, I recommend being directly in front of the bonkers, waiting for it to move, and then proceed to cross. Go with the flow instead of resisting it. However, you could also go through the gap, but the bonkers could knock you off or stun you. For the drawbridge section, if you get the axe in the middle, wait for both bridges to almost touch each other, then dive. But you could also jump through the gap. I personally just dive through the gap instead. Big fans. If you spawn to the back, let everyone else go and then proceed onto a blade that is mostly uncontested. There are different sized fans, however a quick way to cross all of them is to jump onto the center portion. There are different ways to go about this depending on the size of the fan. For the regular sized ones, you jump onto the pole, sprint and then proceed to jump onto the other side's pole. You essentially do the same thing for the largest fan. And as for the smallest fan, you just jump dive over the center. What speedrunners will do is that they will tag the checkpoint but fall. They do this because they may have a chance of being spawned all the way to their front. This is faster than just hitting the checkpoint and walking all the way to their front. This technique is commonly referred to as death warping by some. Spawning in the front isn't always guaranteed, but it's still worth trying. And as of season 6.3, this still works. Looking ahead to see the possible paths is an incredible skill to have. I definitely recommend going to the small fan located at the edges because people don't often take them. Learning to look ahead of you and seeing when two separate fans will meet is a great skill to have. This combined with walking on the center of a fan will make you almost unstoppable. If you do get the variant with the blizzard fans, use the fans to blow you upwards and then dive so you land faster and safely. At the final section, the left side is the preferred side to take because it's a little bit faster than taking the right side. I rarely see people jump diving from one fan to another, it's definitely doable so give that a try. Death warping along with going through the center are two things I think any beginner should try. Poopsie Legends Don't waste time for a ring that you know you have no chance of getting. Tunnel visioning on rings is how people lose on this map. Did you know you can actually run and jump dive directly on top of this platform from the sides? And as of season 6 or 3, you are still able to jump on the purple block in the center and get on the drawbridges but you can only do so when the drawbridges is down. Jump diving doesn't work or at least it doesn't work anymore so just jump on the block and you should be able to get on the bridge when it's down. I personally don't recommend staying in the center because it's the most contested area. If anything, stay on the edges and go to the center once in a while to get a ring or two. Constantly moving and knowing when to go for a ring and when not to is how you qualify on this map. And another thing pro players do that helps them get better at this map and in Fall Guys in general is subscribe to this channel. Let's try to get to 2000 subscribers before June 21st 2022 or before the release of Fall Guys Season 1 free for all. Egg Siege. The first few seconds matter a lot because if you're in last place, the opposing teams will go to your nest and try to steal your eggs. While on the drawbridge, jump dive and let go of your egg so it goes into your basket fast. However, if you're on the ground floor while holding an egg, you can run into the corner closest to your basket and throw the egg into the basket by jump diving right when you're about to hit the corner. And this is really great to do if you have somebody who's right next to your net so they can just grab the egg and throw it into the basket. Another strat you can do while on the ground is to run and shoot the egg through this little cutout. This will take some time to nail down, but here's some things I can tell you. Try to line your character up with the cutout and jump dive right when you're about to approach the cutout. Practice this a few times and you'll be able to do it easily. You can actually jump up and climb the ledge closer to the baskets. Learning to go and chuck eggs out of your opponent's basket is a vital skill to have on this map as well as egg scramble. If you have a golden egg, you or someone in your team should go into a corner and hold the egg. Ideally, two people should be defending your egg. Make sure to keep an eye out on your score and if anything aim to be second place because the top two teams qualify. Wall guys. As the game progresses, the walls actually start to lower. This map is really simple especially if you get the variance with the fan blocks or the ramps. When the game is doing its camera sweep at the start, try to find the best path possible. If you get the variance with the fan block, once you get low enough to touch the box, jump and you should get thrusted upwards. Make sure to keep an eye out for people moving blocks because there's often more the one way out. At times, you may have to move a block yourself, don't be afraid to do so. Instead of trying to climb up the box, parkour from one box to another or parkour from the wall onto another box. If you plan your route, this map is very simple. Subscribe.